Wow, you, I feel so bad for my audience. Where have I been? I have not posted pretty much much on YouTube and uh, we're, we're going through a lot of changes at Nerd uh, and I just feel really, really bad for my audience because we, you know, we haven't been doing much for videos. We're very, very limited. We, uh, we don't have enough money even to, uh, to do like any editing. So my question is a uh, couple, couple things just to kind of, uh, until things get better, I want to do more of the bubblegum videos and, uh, that's going to be videos that are not going through editing. So there's no Donnie posh, uh, editing. It would just be horrible me. Uh, and another idea would also I want to do some lives with uh, Dingo, and uh, I want to know if people are, are interested in this. So the lives with Dingo, we're going to talk about a bunch of different stuff, but this is all like reality talk, talking about animals, uh, what's on our minds, such as, you know, things like that, all, all reptile-based stuff or exotics. Um, and the, the animal bubblegum stuff, I, I kind of just wondering... Until I can get my act together, what what kind of stuff do you want to see? Like, because uh, remember, the bubblegum video is literally me taking my camera and I'm going to film. So there's not going to be an intro. There's not even potentially even going to be a great uh, thumbnail. I'm just doing this just so I don't totally neglect my core audience. I'm apologizing for stinking and you know I, I, we have so many hardships i have so many animals here it's very very expensive and i've been trying to downsize i've really reduced my um my breeding because if i make a lot of babies now we have to take care of all those babies and those babies need rodents they need you know all this extra stuff so we have a big giant building there's thousands and thousands of animals here but i want to reduce some of the volume of animals so I can reduce my core of needed employees and the care that's associated with these animals. And it's, it's very, very challenging. I'm uh, in my state. I have the highest electric rate in the country. Uh, my rodent food is extraordinarily expensive. Uh, the bedding, uh, getting buying paper, uh, my heating bills, we've had a pretty mild winter and stuff. And, uh, you know, I haven't touched on this, but you know, I'm very, uh, I'm very, um, the passing of Brian Barcheck has, uh, weighed on me and it just like, kind of like just things have really thrown me off a lot. And, and, you know, life is hard. Uh, so I just felt like I needed to at least put something out there to you guys. We're going to try to do more education stuff. Um, how about this? <laughs> there is possibility of doing a kind of like a reality uh, show based around me and here. And it wouldn't be like, you know, I, I wouldn't want to be like this foolish thing. So what it would be is the people that I've been talking to, it's more based about all the extraordinary things that we do with animals, the, the understanding of these animals, because to the average person out there, these animals are so strange and the things that we're doing and how we're interacting with them and actually that reptiles are actually intelligent and you can actually have a rewarding experience with one of these animals and getting it out there to the general public, I would have some editing privileges, but you know, I, I wouldn't want to do like all the, you know, the corny stuff. It, there's plenty of drama here at Nerd because I am challenged in the uh, fact I'm trying to keep this ship afloat. And, and it's, you know, like, how can I pay my $12,000 plus electric bills and this and all these different things. And I, I want to do education. I want to teach people about these animals. I want people to look at these animals in a different light. I also want to take some of my vast years of experience and some of my knowledge of these animals and, and teach people about methodology, husbandry, keeping breeding, 
mindset, socialization and understanding of these animals that might be unique to my uh, brain and teach other people about that so I can show you, hey, this this worked or maybe this doesn't work because I've done plenty of things that ultimately I deem, eh, that's not the way to do it. This doesn't necessarily work. And I'm forever appreciative of my audience that I, there's a lot of people that watch me and listen to my content that actually don't even keep reptiles. And you guys are really fascinating to me because you're here listening to me uh, and it's, I don't really know. I don't really know what to, what to think about that because I, it just seems like if you didn't keep these reptiles, then listening to the, 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 just this weird stuff that I do just seems to uh, be like, why? You know, I guess what do you want to watch a glass of uh, Coca-Cola bubble away? I mean, it's I mean, I, I guess I have no appreciation of what you actually really like about me. I do read the comments and I do appreciate. I'm, I'm starting to understand this, but this is all very much a learning experience because I don't find myself. Um, you know, uh, I'm not polished. You know, I don't want to be polished. This is pretty much I'm going to be, you know, you guys are getting down right down to it. And I, I just, I want to put out things that people are interested in. We've, uh, you know, it's really sad. The medical video stuff has been such a huge problem to upload it. And I'm, I'm really discouraged because if I try to teach people about animals, I'm being accused that you're, you're not being supportive of, of, you know, the idea of veterinary, you know, practice. And that's not remotely the case. I'm trying to teach the keepers how to better understand, better understand, sometimes alleviate things. But a lot of these problems are due to, you know, husbandry challenges, or it's also the, the day in the day out of actually keeping animals. These things, some of these things, no matter how good your care is, are going to happen. And sometimes what you do immediately, the next 24 hours, 48 hours, uh, to that animal will actually affect its future welfare. And obviously having a critical vet, having a relationship with a vet is excellent. I also want to provide information that actually helps veterinarians, helps vet techs, anybody that has some capacity of medical knowledge and experience and expertise to apply it to a situation. Because many of these things that I'm experiencing, the vet who's never had any experience with it at all, you know, depending who they are, they generally have to go back and look at a, a textbook, a reference or whatever. So I'm kind of giving a video demonstration of something and maybe ways that I can um, navigate through it, alleviate it. First of all, identifying it and getting the crib notes, coming to a fast, orderly uh, way to navigate and assess and then, you know, diagnose this is the problem and these are possible solutions. And I try to put that out there and I do that. And somehow, you know, you still offend people. Uh, you, you know, like if we're editing and Donnie's like, you know, we have to make this video short enough where, you know, people are interested. So, okay, well now we have to weigh the animal. Now we have to put it, you know, maybe the day before or three days before we're putting on, on antibiotics before we even try to remove a little abscess on the lip. And then we want to give it lidocaine. So you now you're you're putting lidocaine into it. So you're numbing the thing. And if you don't show every one of these things, people are assuming the absolute worst. And then my content, like it's it's dangerous. Like I don't think I do anything. Like my animals, I have such a relationship with my animals and such ideas of my animals that it's sometimes it, people are saying it's like dangerous. So if I have a little kid around a big snake or something, I guess they're calling, they can call that. I don't, I don't understand this, but in this day and age, we still have people that are, uh, you know, feeding baby alligators to little frogs and they're doing all these animal death matches, which I'm totally against. And they're able to do that. And I can barely get by with, with any little thing. So I've been really uh, challenged by that. And we try to load upload videos and we get shot down. Um, so that's that's a huge, huge issue. Uh, so I was talking about doing some lives with Dingo. I just talked to Dingo. 
we would just do these collabs and you get to listen to us talk. I won't, I, I think maybe I should just like end this now, but obviously I'm in a building filled with animals. I have uh, some, you know, unique uh, ways that I understand animals, the ways I approach animals, the ways of dealing with animals and stuff like that. But remember, if I go to bubble gum, bubble gum means literally I'm going to take my phone and I'm hopefully going to put it in landscape mode and I'm going to go and just kind of talk about something. If I'm navigating my relationship with lizards, with snakes, and I'm just going to just show you, but to many people, that's not very polished. But for me to get content out, because right now I don't, I don't have the money to afford Donnie or anything. So I'm kind of, I'm on my own and we lost our Facebook page. Facebook took me down. I don't know why back in September. And I don't know if I'm ever even going to get my 250,000 uh, followers or likes or whatever you want to call it on Facebook. So I started uh, a Facebook evil morph God. And I just started that a couple days ago, but I would really appreciate you to like and follow Evil Morph God. Obviously, Instagram is Evil Morph God. And we've been putting a lot of attention into even New England Reptile on Instagram. And guess what? I'm so desperate to get out and talk to people that I have to actually go on TikTok. So I'm navigating all that. All right, well anyways, I figured I need to give you guys an explanation. And I really appreciate your support. So uh, please bear with me and there'll be more. And uh, I'm that, remember, I'm that one little guy that really needs you guys to communicate with me, tell me what you're thinking. And, and I'm trying to keep you guys entertained. I appreciate you all. Thank you. Let's see if I can actually stop this.